In this video we're going to take a look at the Insider Challenge on Hack the Box. It's an easy forensics challenge and the description says a potential insider threat has been reported and we need to find out what they access. Can you help? Uh, so we download the files first of all, open up the archive and let's grab a local copy of the Mozilla folder, put in our password, hack the box, and close that down. Alright, so we've got a Mozilla folder. Let's see what's in here. And this looks like the Mozilla folder which would be present and on the operating system. So we have some SQLite databases. We um, have some JSON files, login.json here we could take a look at. Alright, so I'm no uh, expert with Firefox Forensics, so we'll see if we can uh, have a look through some of this and see what looks interesting. So let's start by going into our, what folders do we have here? Firefox, extensions, system extensions dev. Let's go into Firefox and what's the profiles.ini? Okay, so we just have some different profiles. Don't see anything too interesting there. Let's have a look in the profiles folder. We're in a tree here to see. Where was our login? Logins.json and the key.db. So let's go into the 2.5 folder. And we have the SQLite. So we can open up SQLite browser. And let's check out the cookies database and see what's in here. If we go to browse data. All right. Don't s some Google and Mozilla cookies. Doesn't appear to be too much for us. What's in the logins.json? Let's pr let's print this. Okay, so we've got a login, an encrypted login by the looks of it here. Let's um, let's open the logins with Codium just so we get a better, a nicer output. Okay, so we've got the host name. Act 01 8080. We have an encrypted username and an encrypted password. So let's see about how we can potentially decrypt these passwords. So we'll check Google here and see Firefox password decrypt. We have an article here about decrypting and recovering passwords. We have a GitHub link here to a tool called Firefox Decrypt. Let's take a look at that. If you must use Python 2, try OK. And the tool will present a number, a numbered list of profiles, enter a relevant number, and then prompt to enter a mass. OK, so it's just telling us to run the Python file anyway. Advanced usage. Uh, let's go and try it out so you can see here an example of Python Firefox decrypt and then dash dash list let's uh, get the repo take a copy of the URL and I'm gonna go to CD CTF tools forensics and let's git clone that repo. We'll cd Firefox decrypt. And we have Python Firefox decrypt. Alright, it sounds like it's probably going to look for my um, my Firefox. So, where's the help? How do we pass in a the profile. Here's the path to the profile. So by default, it's going to take my profile. Um, so let's say Firefox decrypt, Python Firefox decrypt, and then dash or, or positional arguments profile. Okay, so the profile just comes at the end. So we can just say uh, desktop CTF hack the box forensics insider. And then we'll just pass it the Firefox folder. So Firefox, let's try and run that. And you see it gives us a couple of profiles there. Let's try profile one. 
couldn't initialize. Maybe it's not a valid profile. Let's try profile two. Master password. Um, hack the box. Error, the password is not correct. Okay, so it didn't like that password. Let's try that list flag. All right, all that did was list the profile types. Okay, so we need to try and find a master password. The thing is that I didn't actually try to run that even without a password. Let's try and do it with a blank password. Oh, okay, yeah, we didn't even need a password. So there we've got our admin and we've got our flag as well. Hack the box, your browser, history. Okay, so hope you've enjoyed this challenge. Um, wasn't too difficult for us using that automated tool. If you uh, have any questions, any comments, then leave them down below. Thanks.